how long did it take you to get your diagnosis and what difficulties did you face along the way? Well, I was very lucky and um, it only took me six months from getting ill to getting diagnosed with lupus. Um, it's My first symptoms were being really tired. I, I just would sleep everywhere. I, I fell asleep in school a couple of times. I'd come home and sleep on the sofa. And my parents sort of put it down to stress from school because of exams and all of that. And so it, was, it all just seemed like that until my feet swelled up. And that's when my parents thought, well, we should go to the doctors because that's not normal. And from there, I was referred to Adelbrook's. Uh, and at Adelbrook's, I was uh, bounced around at different appointments. And at first, they thought I had Crohn's. They had to do a couple of procedures, but it was confirmed that I didn't have Crohn's. So I was um, sent to immunology where they diagnosed me with lupus. Mm -hmm. John, how long did it take you to get diagnosed? And what difficulties did you face along the way? Right, about three years ago, I developed uh, pains in my legs and joints to the point where I couldn't walk from my car to uh, my office at work. Uh, I went and saw my doctor, they diagnosed arthritis, which we now know wasn't. Um, after that, after three months, I developed uh, really bad uh, blood clots in my lungs, um, chest pains, pleurisy, racing heart, etc. And because of that, I was admitted to hospital five times, emergency admits. Um, after another, another three months of this on and off, not knowing what's going on, um, doctors from three separate hospitals uh, got round the table with my own doctor, and it was my doctor and them that decided and thought that I had lupus, and that's when I was diagnosed with lupus. Caddy, how long did it take you to get your diagnosis, and what difficulties did you face along the way? It took about two months, which is um, pretty good for a lupus diagnosis. I had been feeling really poorly for a while and um, it, I had, it seemed like a flu that didn't go away. So I went to my GP, he took one look at me and decided to send me to a &E straight away. So I went off and uh, I thought I'd be a couple of hours or so, but I was wrong. Um, they put me in hospital, I was quarantined and they did every single test. <laughs> that I could imagine. Four weeks later, they were still doing tests and um, they still didn't know what was wrong. So I literally begged to go home. So they did one more round of tests and sent me off um, with an outpatient appointment to come back in about four weeks. During that time, they called me back in and they had got some results from some of the tests. I had done whilst I was in hospital, and they told me I had lupus. It's very erratic, but I do have long periods where I'm relatively okay, and others where I'm very, very ill. My doctor said it was lupus, and it would be more of a nuisance than anything else. And, um, but I found it really challenging, and um, it's been life-changing.